Alright, welcome back everyone. Hopefully the stream's working again. Um, okay, so... If you joined me in the last stream, we were exploring Novigrad together. Um, but right now we're just going to play for a little bit. So, let's go make sure the live stream's working first of all, because that would be a mess if it wasn't. Yeah, it seems to be working fine. Alright, so, if you're joining me, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. I'm planning on doing a lot more Nintendo Switch content. Um, check out my other videos. I have did a few other videos on The Witcher 3. You could watch me play it for about four hours, because I've got I believe I've got an unboxing video. I've got a one hour and a half, one and a half hour stream, and a two hour stream after that. So, lots of Witcher 3 content if you want to watch me play it. And the game comes out on October the 15th, so that is Tuesday, I believe. Um, and yeah, it's a fantastic game. So, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Please hit the little thumbs up button, it would help. Um, Alright, so we're going to probably leave the city now. Because I only came to the city to show it off on YouTube. Let's go and see if we can leave. Alright, where's the nearest where's the nearest teleportation thing? Alright, we wanna go back to the square, alright. <clears throat> alright, so we wanna teleport out of the city. We want to fast travel somewhere. Um, where do we want to go? We probably want to go back to... Where do we want to go? We probably want to go back to... Um, Hunting a witch. Yeah, we'll go to hunting a witch. All right, so we want to go back to Velen. Um, so let's go back there. Now, if you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button down below. It takes two seconds, and you'll get notified of all the new Switch content, um, Switch videos that I'm going to be posting. Um, and also check back my old videos because I've got quite a lot of other videos on the Switch, um, on virtual reality stuff, gaming stuff, tech stuff, all that stuff. So if you want to see more content, just hit the subscribe button and check out the channel. So where do we want to go? We want to go back to Velen, um, which I believe is over here. So the fastest way to get there would be to go to the crow's perch <clears throat> feel free to ask feel free to ask any question in the comments hamoda 93 says i'm so excited for the game man you've got a lot of reason to be excited because it's it's an amazing game a lot of people have been talking talking a lot of smack about the graphics, saying, oh, the graphics don't look great, but the, 
But remember, it's it's running running on the switch. And the great thing about the switch is that you could take it anywhere. You could even take it into the toilet and play Witcher Three. So, so if there's any reason to get the Witcher Three on the Switch, it's purely because you could take it anywhere. That's that's the that's like the highlight of having it on the Switch. Um, and it runs really well. So, yeah. All right. So let's go to the notice board here really quickly, actually, and pick up a few side quests. Let's have a little waypoint over here. <laughs> Man, that's that's the reason like 50, 60 percent of people are going to be getting The Witcher Three on Switch is because you can play it on the toilet. I mean, how how many people sit on the toilet for like an hour? Why not use that time playing Witcher Three? It makes sense. All right, do we want to go there or do we want to go? Uh, do we want to go to the notice board over here? I don't know. I'm thinking actually we might just go straight to the objective. Alright, let's go to the objective. Let's call the horse. Man, I can't believe they made it either. If someone, if if you told me a year ago they were going to be making Witcher Three for the Switch, I would have just laughed at you. Um, how long does it take in portable mode? I mean, how long does the battery last in portable mode? Eugene asks. Um, I've not tested it much in portable mode to be honest. I played about five minutes of it in portable mode, and in those five minutes, I never really looked at the battery life. I'm guessing the battery life's going to drain pretty fast. Playing this, um, Zelda, Zelda asks. I heard the inventory screen was different. Can you show that real quick? Is it easier than PS4? Um, I've not played it on PS4, but I'll be glad to show you it. So this is the inventory screen. As I said, I've not got it on PS4, so you're going to have to be the judge. Um, we've got our weapons and armor. We've got our potions here. Food and drink, we could un and plus we could put stuff on Roach if we want to. Our horse. Um, here's the other tab: quest items, crafting, and alchemy. And obviously we could change their armor and whatnot here. And yeah, that's it. Here's the alchemy menu. Um, we've got the glossary. We've got the world map. And we've got our quest menu. And we've got the character menu where we can update abilities um and meditation so there it is that's the menu and we we've also got game options audio controller settings gameplay controller scheme display we could actually change the post processing so you can actually turn off the motion blur or just a blur so that is the menu What's this? Oh god, it's a corpse. Faster. Spooky. Really spooky. Alright, let's go kill the witch. Um, Eugene asks, I see, I think same, large and pretty heavy game for the NS. I think it could be two hours, maybe two and a half with the old revision and maybe three or four with the new one. Yeah, that sounds about right. 
That sounds about right. Alright, we wanna oh we wanna skip these bandits, we wanna run past them. Let's go straight to the objective. Do 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 Alright, we're gonna be hunting a witch now. So let's get off here and ask some of the residents about it. Ah. Nice. Okay, so our items have been enhanced. So where do we want to go in here? What's this? Oh, loot. Lots of loot. So I think we're are we talking to people? I've got no idea where it wants me to go. We'll maybe go in here. We just have to eavesdrop on them. I wish it gave me a hint as to where to go. Oh, here we go. We've got new comments. Um, Camille Diasco says hello. Hello to you too. Welcome to the stream. Eugene, but also, yeah, I agree with Hamoda93. If someone told me a year ago that The Witcher will be on Switch, probably me responded, are you high or something? Yeah, that's exactly why I thought, man. I thought it was good. I thought it was an April Fool's Day joke. A late April Fool's Day joke when they announced this. I couldn't believe it. But the fact that this, if this, if this can run on the Switch, then why can't Grand, Fe Grand Theft Auto V or Red Dead Redemption 2? Right, I've got no idea where it wants me to go here. Find the Witch on your own or ask the residents of Midcorp. Mid, mid cops about her. I've got no idea where it wants me to go. This is frustrating. No 
Alright, I've got no idea where it wants me to go. Ah, here we go, cutscene. From Velen. I get it right. You did. Yeah, exactly, Eugene. Other developers don't have any excuses. I think I think I think the Switch is catching up to the Xbox One now. So developers are gonna have to start taking it seriously. And I think we're gonna start we're I think we're gonna start to see Oh sir. I think we're gonna start to see a lot of big games get ported over. But Nintendo's gonna have to do something next year because the PS5 is coming out next year, the new Xbox is coming out next year, so if if Nintendo want to keep having big games like this be ported to the Switch, they're gonna have to release a Switch Pro or something. Or else they're just gonna get left behind. You know her? I do. From afar, that one like yourself. But she listens, understand. You know where I can find her? Go to the pond while swan swam there. Follow it to a great stone, drop where it lies by a devil that a farmer tricked into thinking it was a giant egg. Then go right into the woods. You'll pass a destitute cart. Thanks, and a big help. Alright, so we've got it. Alright, let's go. So it wants us to find a large stone. There it is. Um. Oh, hey, Hamoda says GTA Five and Red Dead can run, but the developers are lazy. Um, I think that's what it is. I think. I think. I think CD Projekt Red spent a lot of money trying to. You know, it's gonna take. It takes a lot of money and time to optimize a game like this for the Switch, and I think it's just a case of developers taking taking the time and spending money to really, you know, really optimize a game for it. And I really hope they they do. Um, Judd says hi. This is just. Incredible that this is on the switch. It uh, it really is. It, it is incredible. It's mind blowing. I can't. I still can't believe I'm playing it. All right. Oh God. What does it want us to do? Oh no. That's fine. Which is hot somewhere nearby. Alright, let's loot some of these dead bodies here. Yeah, I'm hoping they will. I mean, I think... I think the fact that The Witcher 3 has finally been released on the Switch, I think a lot of developers are going to open their eyes now and see that see that it's possible. Because if if The Witcher 3, which by ev well, The Witcher 3 is pretty much one of the most intensive games that you can buy right now. So if this can run on the Switch, then any game can run on the Switch. And that includes Red Dead Redemption and Grand Theft Auto. So I think a lot of a lot of eyes are going to be open now after this. And I think Rockstar would be pretty foolish if they if they didn't think they'd make any money on it because if let me tell you if Grand Theft Auto came out on the Switch, everyone would buy it. Everyone would. They'd make a ton of money. So I think Rockstar are gonna. It's just a matter of when. Rest died of hunger. 
Poor soldiers let him off. Oh, we're as good as dead without her. I shall give you herbs. Mix them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, then make the cow drink them. But first, you must clean out your barn thoroughly. Not a big, f not a big fan of Grand Theft Auto, but it would be interesting indeed. Yeah, not even just Grand Theft Auto, like games like San Andreas. When and sorry, Red Dead Redemption One, even, even if they ported over the first Red Dead Redemption, that would be nice. And if they took the time and money to port Red Dead Redemption Two, that would be even nicer, I think. And EA could could um EA could bring Dragon Age to the Switch. I think we're gonna see a lot of big games ported over after this. Now where's she run off to? Hmm. Managed to amass quite a book collection. Don't often see bubbles like this in Velen. Candle. Ordinary ointment. Nothing special. Um oh yeah, Red Dead One could easily come to the Switch. I mean they've pretty much in fact no, they've not ported it to everything. I'm thinking of the Xbox One backwards compatibility. Um but yeah they they should be able to port it. Um Beyblade, I'm sorry, I don't speak Spanish. Um, Eugene, yep, I guess it's more than possible, yeah. Alright, so what do we want to find here? Oh. Is there something I'm missing? Ah, the trapdoor. Um, Judd, yeah, I'm surprised as you. I think every I Nintendo, every Nintendo question. console has received some kind of Call of Duty game, except for the Switch. Powerful aura. Must be some artifact, or so this is where she disappeared to. Ah, so we're gonna hunt the witch and go in here. Enter the portal into the witch's hut. Okay. Well, well. Nice. Oh, this is nice. I was wondering how long it would take you, Geralt. I'm upstairs. Don't be shy. Greetings, Witcher. Mr. Spot. Where? Oh, cover your eyes, everyone. Hope you didn't come to school. We've got some nudity. No. To talk. Turn around and wait. <laughs> Cover your eyes, everyone. Well, that was fast. I wish I could put clothes on that fast. In the heart of Thought you hated the countryside. I can assure you I do. Now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. Oh yeah, that's another big game, Judd, that's coming out. 
I'm Overwatch. So pleased the world's still able to I need to buy that. I actually envy you that sense of wonder. Common in children, knights errant, and morons. Mm, someone's grown irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I believe I greeted you with a pleasant view. Now tell me what brings you here. I'm looking for a certain young woman. Oh, really? Who? I'm looking for Siri. That Siri. And no one can know, understand? Cyrilla is here. The girl once sought by the Lodge of Sorceresses, and practically every ruler on the continent has landed here in Velen, and I know nothing of it. Hmm. What is she doing here? Indications are We're almost at a thousand subs, so if you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button. I'm going to be doing a lot more Switch content in the coming weeks and months. He claims she would stand out from the peasant crowd. Who was it? <laughs> Not so fast, Geralt. No humble plea. No offering for the witch. Um. What's your rate these days? A couple dozen eggs? Three hens, maybe? My rate rises with every word you speak. I'm not sure you can afford the information anymore. Mm, you're pricklier than I remembered. Isn't living in nature's lap supposed to be cleansing, calming? Nature stinks. Oh, sod it. Don't give me that look. I know it's Siri we're talking about. It was an elf, this individual who asked about Cyrilla. No flea-bitten Scoyotel slob either, but an elven mage. <sighs> He say what his name was? He didn't. And he wore a mask. Very secretive all around, but I like it. Um, Trent says, I'll be getting this on Tuesday. Oh man, Trent, you're going to love it. The graphics look amazing. Well, sorry, the graphics don't look amazing, but they look good for the Switch, if that makes sense. And it runs pretty smoothly. So yeah, I think you're going to really enjoy it, Trent. And if you want to see more gameplay, then I've got two other streams up on the channel already. I've got an unboxing video, and I've also got a video exploring Novigrad, which is one of the biggest cities on The Witcher 3. So, if you want to see how the Switch can handle all that, then check out the other videos. Besides, I know you think as I do, she might be there. And I'd like to see Cyrilla too. Um, Judd says I pre-purchased it. I just got to wait. It's been the longest few days. Yeah, just two more days, man. Two more days. Day after yes. tomorrow. Let's. It might even come early. You might get it tomorrow. You never know. You never know. would return as he'd promised or else his waif would appear at any rate i've no idea what to expect from this place well let's find out um hope it comes out at midnight also guys just imagine <laughs> oh man dead space i would love for dead space to come out on the switch i was too scared to play it on the pc version i think i'd be i think if i was to play it on the switch i'd be I'd be a little more brave just because the screen's a little bit smaller. But yeah, that's a really good game idea. What other games would be good on the Switch? The Wild Hunt. What? Phantom Riders? I mean, I thought they didn't exist. Feast your eyes on the non existent then. Hmm. Got a navigator with them. Uh, what? 
Vertigo asks, how's the FPS? The FPS is pretty damn good. It's been pretty much a solid, th it's been a solid 30 FPS for most of the game until we got to Novigrad and then it dipped to about 25 FPS. But so far it's been really smooth. Amnesia freaked you out. <laughs> Damn portals. Wonder where Kira is now. Oh. Oh, jeez. Um, outla oh, Outlast, I'm, I'm super, super scared to play Outlast, but I, I think I'm going to purchase Outlast before Halloween, because I think Outlast would be the perfect game to play on Halloween, on the Switch. Outlast and Friday the 13th. Um, where to go while wow, that actually surprises me. And um, yeah, it surprised me too. I was expecting it to be stuttery all over the place on the Switch, but it's actually been really smooth. And this is running the day one patch, which is about 3.2 gigabytes. And I'd imagine they'll update it again at some point, and it'll only get smoother after, after this. Jonathan Oxendine says, I love horror games. Layers of Fear scared me big time on handheld. I've heard a lot about Layers of Fear. I need to try it. Oh no. Oh. Oh, I just killed myself. Can you believe it? <laughs> this is why you save before you go into situations like this now if you haven't already guys please hit that red subscribe button we're trying to get to 1000 subscribers and we're almost there we're literally almost there we're like 200 and something away from a thousand and I'll be doing a lot more switch content over the coming weeks so if you want to see that then subscribe Right, um, where do we want to go? We wanna, all right, it wants us to go back under the water again.
All right, let's see if I have any potions here. Uh, we don't have any potions, no. Do we have any food? Oh god, we don't have any food either. Let's see if we can if we have enough ingredients to make some potions. Nope. Bugger. Alright, we're just gonna have to try and wing this. Um I got it. Oh, right, let's drink that. Drink that water. Try and heal up a bit. God, goodness me. I love this quest, so many hidden stuff in those caves. If you stop following Kira for a while and start exploring. That's what I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to get some loot. Hopefully. Let's see. I really need some food for a start. Oh, what the hell's that? Oh, let's go kill it whilst we're here. Oh, gee. What the hell? Oh, no, I'm about to die. Oh, I died! Damn it! <laughs> I definitely wasn't prepared for this quest. I should have went and bought some food before I came here. Ah, so we have 20 people watching it right now, watching the live stream. Welcome to the stream. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Judd says, last year if someone told me the Switch would get Dead by Daylight, Friday the 13th, Overwatch and Witcher 3 all in the same year, I would have said they're crazy. I would have said the exact same thing. Oh no, it sent me all the way back to this bit. Bugger. Uh, 
Um, Eugene asks, is this my first time playing Witcher 3? Um, no, I did play some of it on the PC version. I've also got a gaming PC. Um, so I've played about five hours of The Witcher on PC, but that was years ago. I've not played it in a long time. So this for me is pretty much like the first time I'm actually playing it. Um, Soul Reborn 44, hey man, what's up? Hey, how are you doing? Man, there's too many damn games for the Switch. It's hard for me to keep up. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Run, 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 run. Ah. How do you lock? How do you lock it? Unlock. I mean, how do I run away? I'm trying to. Okay, there. Ah, oh, died again. What what made you decide to play Nintendo Switch? It's a low end console. Well, the main reason I picked up a Switch was for the portability, the portability of it. I've got a I've got a PS4 Pro. Um, I've got a an expensive gaming laptop, and I've got the Switch. And the thing that drew me to the Switch was the fact it's the most portable. I mean, what other console lets you play The Witcher Three on the toilet? None of them. So that's in a nutshell. That's exactly why I picked up the Switch. And yeah, Judd's exactly right. There's a lot of exclusives on the Switch. A lot of exclusives. Pokemon. Um, in fact, let's look at some of the games. Pokemon. Here's here's my game library. Um, I've got Witcher 3. Um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That's, uh, that's uh, an exclusive. Mario Kart U Deluxe. That's an exclusive. Um, Mario Odyssey, Super Super Smash Brothers exclusive, Mario Maker Two exclusive, Yoshi's Crafted World that's another exclusive, Donkey Kong Country that's an exclusive, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild that's an ex that's an exclusive, <clears throat> Link's Awakening that's an ex exclusive. So there's an absolute metric ton of exclusive games for the Switch. That and there's a ton of good indie games as well. And man, is you're really gonna ask me that? Of course, I take the switch to the bathroom. I mean, if you're gonna spend like an hour sitting on the stool in the bathroom, you might as well play The Witcher Three whilst you're <laughs> whilst you're in there. I mean, surely everyone that's got a switch has played it at least once in the bathroom. At least once. Eugene, you put 140 hours into Zelda. Yikes. But that's my game collection so far. Um. <laughs> exactly. If you don't take your Switch to the bathroom, are you really using the Switch correctly? Exactly. Well said. But yeah, that's that's mainly why I have it. It's it's got a ton of cool exclusives. A lot of the indie games that I want um, are on the Switch, and the main part of it is you could take it anywhere. And well, that depends. So reborn, that depends. Um, not everyone would agree with you. That Witcher 3 is the best, but it certainly is one of the best games on the Switch right now. In fact, let's 
meditate a little bit and heal up. I've actually got Bayonetta 2 coming to the Switch soon. I just ordered it on eBay like half an hour ago. So that'll be fun. But yeah, I just love that you can take The Witcher 3 anywhere you want to go. I can take it on the train. When I'm going on holiday, I could take it on the plane, take it in the car. I mean, playing, how cool is it that you, that you can now play Witcher 3 anywhere? I think that's amazing. Alright, let's, let's kill these bad guys. Alright, let's go. Jeez. Ah, oh, died again. <laughs> All right, that's a bad idea. Don't use that flame spell in amongst that gas, or else it explodes. Lesson learned. Um, Kareem Lawson, welcome to the stream. Um, so reborn. I beat which I beat Witcher three twice. So if you need any help, tell me. I'll remember that. I'll ask you. Um, Witcher 3 on the Switch is in the top 10, maybe even the top 5 best games for the Switch. It absolutely is. Absolutely is. In Dragon Quest, I've actually put about 40 hours into Dragon Quest. Um, if you want a really fun RPG that's massive, then definitely pick up Dragon Quest. Because Dragon Quest is amazing. Um, are you playing in portable or docked mode? I'm playing in docked mode. There's no way for me to capture the screen in portable mode. I would have to. I'd have to aim a camera down onto the screen, and it wouldn't look too good. Um, Bayonetta was really good. I want Bayonetta three so bad. I've never played any Bayonetta games. My fiance has, so I'm hoping it's going to be fun. Um. Block and dodge. Well, it's hard. It's easier said than done to block and dodge when you've got like four of them on you. I think the biggest mistake that I made there though was I used the fire spell and it kind of exploded everything. Um, Mr. H asks, how is Witcher on the Switch? Um, 10 out of 10. I'll keep saying it until I'm blue in the face. The Witcher 3 on the Switch is amazing. It doesn't look as good as it doesn't look as good as the PS4 version or maybe the PC version, but it looks amazing considering the fact it's on a handheld. Um, welcome to the stream, Alareza. Alareza, how's the frame rate? The frame rate's been a solid 30 FPS for the majority of the game. Um, if you go to Novigrad, I've put a video on the channel showing you me walking around Novigrad, which is like the, the biggest city in the game. It can drop to about 20, 25 frames a second, maybe 20 frames a second at some parts. But for the most part, it's been, it's been pretty solid all the way through. A solid 30. Even right now, it feels like it's a solid 30 FPS. And this is with the 3.2 gigabyte day one patch that they make you download. And I think it's only going to get smoother over time, the more they patch it. Alright, let's meditate really quickly. Oh, don't tell me I can't meditate right now. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's meditate. Let's try and meditate now. Um, Devil May Cry, I mean, Boone, it just took me. And Mr. H says, Oh wow, I'm currently stuck in Dragon Quest XI. The one boss is too damn hard. 
Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of game in Dragon Quest. I mean, I played the demo and I had to have put 20 hours into the demo. I couldn't believe the demo lasted so long. Oh, gee. All right, let's let's follow your advice. Let's do a bit of ducking and dodging. Oh, come on. Ah. All right, I did it. Nice one. Did they drop anything? No, they didn't. Wow, they never dropped anything. Alright, let's go back up here and save. Before I forget. Ah, you can block as well. How do you block then? Um, let me save real quick. Um, understanding Eugene's story can get confusing. Um, so reborn, you can block, you can block and dodge at the same time. How do you get the game early? Um, I got the game early because I bought it online from a certain retailer, and they they happened to send it three days early. I got it yesterday. I guess I just got lucky. Alright, instead of using up my food and water, I'm just going to meditate. Meditate for like two hours. <clears throat> and whilst I'm at it here, let me look at the controller like you said. So to dodge... To dodge... Um, it doesn't say how to dodge. Weird. Oh, wait, hold on. Ah, uh, okay, ZL. Left trigger. Um, check your controller. Is the frame rate always above 30? Um, Josh, um, the frame rate is never above 30. Um, I think the frame rate maxes out at 30. Like 90% of the game, well, it, it should be a solid 30. At least that's what I've experienced. But if you go to a big city like Novigrad, do expect it to dip to about 20 to 25 in some areas. It's been a pretty solid 30 everywhere until I got to Novigrad and then it dipped just a little bit in different places. But it's been pretty solid overall. Um, a lot of people have gotten it early. Um, I can take mine copy 18 or 19. PS4 is the same frame rate. It's 30 and drops sometimes too. Yeah, okay, so yeah. PS4, the Switch, pretty similar. Besides the graphics. Um, Alright, let's go here. Let's jump down. In fact, let's turn this little lamp on. Ah, oh, no, I'm terrible. Let's go to meditate again. <clears throat> um, welcome from Korea. Is it blurred? Some videos show it's worse than it is. Um, it is a little bit blurred, James, but it's nothing terrible. If you're pl if you're going to be playing it on a 55-inch TV, it's going to look a lot worse. 
um, but if you're playing it on anything from a 24 inch monitor down to handheld it's going to look pretty good. It just depends. It, it it has a dynamic resolution, so it depends on where you go. Some some areas can be pretty sharp, but if you're like running through the the forest on your horse, it can get a bit blurry. But it's by no means terrible. I mean, it's playable and it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look bad at all. Ten out of ten. Highly recommend it. All right, let's see. Let's go through here. Let's see if we can get some loot. And we'll save the game here actually. If you're playing it on handheld then it's going to look the best to be honest because when you're playing it in handheld the screen is a lot smaller so everything's going to be a bit more dense and it's going to look crisper. Um, Eugene asks, are you from Scotland? Yes. I'm from Fife. Well, um, I was going to say well spotted, but... Well done. I'm surprised you guessed. Alright, let's... Where do we want to go? I really don't know if I want to fight that that thing again because I got my ass whooped last time. Oh, gee. Oh. One of your one of your items is in bad shape. Repair it, or otherwise it won't work as well. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh God! 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 Oh God. Uh, come on. I wonder if I can meditate whilst I'm in a fight. No, I can't. Bugger. Oh, damn it. Oh, come on. Oh. Bugger. Oh, I'm dead. Damn it. Damn it. Your accent. <laughs> Alright, most recent save. Um, Alright, Bleach says, thanks for sharing and enjoy. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, so reborn. I think I, sh I think you're right. I should have done. <laughs> Good luck. I can't stand how cringy your gameplay is. I know it's terrible. Um, the key of the game is eat a lot. The thing is, Everfriend Revel, welcome to the stream. I don't have any food. I've got no more food. Um, Alireza asks, Al Alireza asks, should I get it if I already own it, own it on PS4? Well, it depends. It depends on how much you've played it on PS4. If you've put like 150 hours of it, if you put in about 150 hours on PS4, then you probably, you probably won't want it on, on Switch. Ah, oh, look at that, it's saved.
Um, Frank, welcome to the stream. Um, Frank asks, you probably get this question a thousand times during this gameplay, but how smooth is the game? Um, the game is very smooth. Um, it runs at about 30 FPS most of the game. So if you're running through the forest, you're questing and stuff, it's going to be a pretty solid 30 FPS. The only time I've noticed it drop below 30 FPS is in one of the big cities called Novigrad where there's tons of NPCs, tons of buildings and stuff. That's when I've noticed it drop just a little bit. It can it can go from about 30 FPS down to as low as 20 FPS in Novigrad. And I've actually got a video on the channel showing, you know, showing me walk around Novigrad. So if you want to see it, just check the channel out. I've got a video up that I posted about an hour ago showing that. But yeah, it's pretty smooth everywhere. Pretty smooth. I was surprised. All right, what I want to do here? Um, inventory. Do I have anything? Ah. There we go. I've actually got an improved sword that I never knew I had. Lovely, okay. And I'll probably remove this sword. Um, alright, let's go, let's try this again. Too weak, too weak, come on. Yes, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh Alright, let's drink that water and let's go up and go up and rest for a second. Um you definitely need a cat potion, I definitely do. I'm not gonna disagree with you there. I need something right now. I just don't have I don't have the ingredients, I don't have the food. Um I need to repair some of these items. Should have really did some side quests instead of in this one. All right, let's go. In fact, no, let's meditate first. Um, all right, let's let's see. Um, yeah, 
James says, I played it like I played like two hours max on Xbox, so I will buy it. Yeah, definitely buy it. If you've only played two hours, then pick it up on the Switch. I mean, the great thing about it is you can take it anywhere. Even on the toilet. Um, Daniel says, why doesn't he use the Q and sign? Let me see, what one's that? Good idea, I might try that. Good idea. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. All right, let's save here. I really should have did some side quests before I did this. What level are you on? Um, sorry, I'm behind on the chat here. Let me just check. I am on. I'm on level three. <laughs> Oh god, I'm getting I'm getting beat by a rat here. Can you believe it? I'm getting my ass whipped by a rat. God damn it, why is this rat? I don't know what she wants me to do. I've killed most. I've killed them all. Oh, I don't have any bombs. Do I have any bombs? God damn. Alright, inventory. I don't have any bombs. How does she want me to do. How does she want me to make. Oh, unless you gave me the ingredients for a bomb. Nope. How the hell does she want me to bomb it? God damn. In fact, let's go up to... Well, that worked. Who? Yeah. You that afraid of rats? Could have annihilated them with one spell. <laughs> All right. Um. Sorry, I was get. I got caught up in that. Let me read the comments. Um. What's your favorite cutscene in Witcher 3? Level 3 versus 7, that's why I hated the game. I should have done a little bit more grinding before I did this, to be honest. Um, Ali Reza says, I'll probably buy it when it's a little bit cheaper. That's a good idea. I mean, always try and see if you can pick it up on eBay for a little deal. That might be the best way to make you save some money. Um, Daniel says only of oh, there is more than five level differences enemies get high buffs in health and there is no need to rush Kira quest there are plenty of side quests buff your level before going main store oh yeah Daniel I should have I should have I should have um, I should have grinded a little bit and did side quests I wasn't thinking um, Helvet Oliver, welcome to the stream. Um, have fun waiting for the price to drop on this. Since it's on a 32 gigabyte cartridge, it won't drop for a long time. That's true. It might take a little time, but if you want, if you want to um, get a good deal on The Witcher, go on eBay and check eBay religiously because I guarantee someone's going to buy it. They're not going to like it, and then they're going to list it on eBay for like 15 pound less than what they paid for it. 
that's pretty much how I've managed to get every game that I've got so far is going on eBay and trying to get deals and do best offers and stuff. I just picked up I, I just picked up a brand new copy of Bayonetta, Bayonetta 2 like an hour ago for like £30 and to buy it new from Amazon it would cost about £45 so that's £15 saved by just going on eBay. Um, have you gone mad? We must leave here at once. Let's hurry. Let's go. We might still reach the elven mage before they do. But what does the hunt want from him? If that elf has information about Ciri, or if she tried to find him, contact him even, and they sensed her. Very well, let's move on. Perhaps we'll come across some clue, some trace left by this elf. There's no guarantee the wild hunt is going the right way. Gvela Glan. Alright, hopefully I can teleport out of here. That's him. That's the elf. Use a torch. I need to. I should do. If I could figure out how to use a torch. But thanks, thanks for the tip, Crystal Empire. Message was definitely for Siri, daughter of the Gull, Lara Doran's heir. Indeed, it is what the elves would title Siri. But what was the bit about the sign of her? Yeah, not a hard one, though. Not... Come now, who aside from you? Might have been the point. Your elven mage secured. He failed to foresee that someone like. Nevertheless, I think he was expecting uninvited guests. He made some preparation. Well then, let's go. Do you think following the? We'll see. All right, I just want to get the hell out of here now. Ah. Uh, I want to go back and grind and do some side quests. Should never have went in here. All right, let's try and use a torch. Um, inventory. Um, how do we use the torch? Ah, there we go. Must have been how they got here by sea. I've got no I've got no idea how to use the torch. Ah here we go. There we are. Alright, we've done it. Oh Careful. god, there's an enemy down there. Yellow vapor. It's toxic. I hardly need instruction from you. I recognized the Volpine Lorel immediately. Desimir told me that soon after he'd learned to cast Igni, he tried it out on the hatch of these mushrooms. Oops, oops, oops. What happened? Well, God damn it. Alright, I blame. You know who I blame for that? I blame the Crystal Empire for telling me to use a torch. Look what happened. I just ignited the entire cavern. Bad idea. Show me what you got. Oh god, I'm still using the torch. No, put the torch away. Oh no! Oh, there's no way I'm going to beat this. I need to find a way to teleport. There's no way I can beat this. I just used... I, I used it, man. I used Igni. 
I need to try and back out of this cave because there's no way I'm going to beat this. I'm level 3. I'm getting frustrated at this now. <laughs> she never went into this quest. I messed up big time. I wasn't even paying attention to the... I wasn't even paying attention to what level I was. I just accepted it, thinking that I could do it. Big mistake. I don't even know if I can get out the cave now. <sighs> Alright, we're going to try the trap sign. <laughs> yeah, I feel your pain. Remember why I stopped playing after two hours now. Now the thing is, I ru I'm rushing through the storyline when I'm obviously not ready. To, not ready. I need to. I need to do more grinding first. I need to do. I need to do more side missions and stuff. And after that, I should be able to breeze through this. All right, let's see. Um, right, so you told me to use what was it? Crystal told me to use use Igni. No, that's fi no fire damage isn't going to work because it's going to set a light. It's going to set a light everything. It's going to blow everything up. Um, Helvet Helvet says I got this coming by Amazon Prime. It'll be here at nine a.m. on release date. And then I picked up the physical copy of Collection of Mana and ordered the physical co Man, you're buying as many games as me. You're buying as many games as me. I've got to try Collection of Mana. I've heard that's really good. And I'm surprised you bought the physical collection of Dragon Quest from Play Asia because you can buy it here. You can you can buy the physical collect. Oh, the collection Dragon Quest collection. Okay. Um. Use the trap sign. Don't use Igni. I don't think I've. I don't think I've got the trap sign. Do I? Oh no, I do. I do. Um. What difficult level? What difficulty level did you pick? I picked the the second from the easiest one, so the one up from the easiest. I wonder if I could change the difficulty mid game. You think? Ah, you can. Look at that. Look at that. We could change the difficulty mid-game. Brilliant. Alright, let's try this. Let's try this again. Now, I can't... I cannot use the torch here, or else it's going to ignite everything. It's toxic. Desimir told me that soon after he left. Um, I'm playing in Skyrim now, and I still get my arse kicked in some places. Oh man, I've I've put a lot of hours into Skyrim. I know how that is. All right, do we have any food? No, we've got potions though. All right, there we go. Sydney, he tried it out on a patch of these mushrooms. Terrible idea. What happened? Well, he survived, and wounds heal awfully quick on young witches. <laughs> Come on. Oh, gee. Oh man, I'm getting attacked by two witches here.
Oh no! I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. Damn! What did I do? Crystal, I can't use a torch because that that gas is flammable. That yellow mist is gonna is gonna blow up as soon as I pull out the torch, like it did last time. Oh, sorry, Eberfrin, Eberfrin Revo, use, use Yurden, or, okay, I'm going to use that. I'll try use it, but right now, it seems like I'm up shit creek at the moment, because I can't get past this. If someone else wants, if someone wants to come here and take the controller off me, I'd be happy to give it to you. As long as you can help me get out, out of this cave. Last time I played this on Death March was funny. Ooh, Death March. Is that the hardest level? Man, I've got it set to the easiest and I'm still getting my ass kicked. Time to run away and try again. Man, did you know how long it took me to get down to this part of the cave? It took me like... 15 minutes to get down to this, this down to this part it's going to take me forever to go back again let me see is there a way I could teleport out please let there be a way for me to teleport damn there isn't any way Um, Jean Pierre Potvin, um, Potvin, you play on dock mode or hand mode? Um, I'm playing in docked right now. In fact, wait, hold on. Does he give me potions? No. All right, let's. You want me to use? God, I hate this. Yurden, all right. A magic trap. Okay, we're gonna use a magic trap. Let's see. Must have been how they got here by sea. I wonder how long ago that was. Careful, that oily yellow vapor is toxic. You know what? I'm just gonna run for it. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run through here. I'm gonna run past the bad guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Run past them. Run past them. Come on. Run past them. Run past them. Run past them. Run past them. the damage I'm doing. I'm doing no damage. I'm doing like zero damage to her. What the hell? Don't tell me. Oh, come on. Yes, almost got her. Come on. 
Yes, I got it. Got it. Whew. All right, what's everyone saying in the live chat? Um, <laughs> um, it's not like Glory Vision on hand mode. Um, oh, no problems, John. Um, the no, it is a it is a bit blurry. It's not is but it's not like the PS4 or PC to be honest. The quality is obviously lower, but it's not by any means unplayable. It still looks pretty good. And it's going to look even better on handheld because the handheld screen's smaller and everything's more condensed. Um, Eduardo, welcome to the stream. Use oils for the ghosts. Level up first. I can't get out of the cave though. I'm stuck in the cave. Um. I've got no food, nothing. All right, okay. Oh my god, there's two more there's two more witches. There's two more witches. I can't kill two more. I know I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Damn. Alright, I can't do this. I'm going to have to go out. Go to alchemy and create the oil. I've not got any oil. I don't think I've got the ingredients for it. Uh, you know what? Let's go... Uh, I chose the wrong checkpoint. Bugger. I think I'm going to have to just revert back to an old save. To get out, to get out of here. The witch Siri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend. Kira Metz. The sorceress told the witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to taken shelter in his hideout. The witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. I think I'm just going to have to revert back to an old save before before I even started this mission. And just do some side quests and stuff like that. Because this is, this is impossible to do. Absolutely impossible. I've given up. I would rather go back and like lose an hour, not an hour, but like half an hour, than than keep dying in this cave constantly. All right, so let's go back to load game. Okay. All right, alchemy. Go to character. You have points. You can see it on top left of your screen. I've only got one point. Alright, let's go to alchemy. Let's see what you're talking about. Ah! You know, it's interesting, I might do that, but I think I'd rather still go back. I'm gonna go back, I'm just gonna load, I, I'm gonna go load, load the game back, maybe here. Yeah, I'm gonna go back here. 
I'm going to go back in nowhere, but I'd rather that than keep doing this. Oh, thank God we're out of this cave. Let me go get a drink. The Witcher's contact in Velen was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrik was operating incognito in that war-ravaged land. His mission, to gather intelligence about Ciri. Yet Geralt arrived too late. The wild hunt had reached Hendrik first. The Witcher learned nothing from the spy's corpse, but the wraiths had failed to find his notes. Yeah, Eduardo, I've, I've did that, but I don't have enough ingredients to make the potions and the oils. I, know, I mean, I know how to make them, I just don't have the ingredients. Believe me, I've checked. Oh. All right, thank God we're out. All right, so where are we on the map? All right, we're over here. All right, let's go to the notice board and go pick up some side quests and try and grind up a little bit. Mode 7, welcome to the stream. Looks so smooth. How have they managed that? Don't ask me, I've got no idea. I think the people that made this game are wizards or something. Because um, the game looks fantastic. Get up there. Pathetic. Oh, look at that. Oh, I just chopped his head off. Um, I pre ordered on the eShop weeks ago. I'll play on Tuesday. Nice. I think you'll really love it. Congratulations. It's this game is a blast, man. You'll love it. You'll get your money's worth. Oh, I chopped his head off too. Um alright, where do I need to go? I need to go up here. Roads. We'll not let a man like that in here. 
Won't get in that way. Gotta find another. Auto look among the villagers. Might find one brave enough to help me. You've played a hundred hours already. Jeez. <laughs> well, they were attacking me, Eduardo. I mean, I wasn't going to stand there and let them kill me. And where's the where's the area that we started out in the game? I want to go back to there. Yeah, I want to go back to White Orchard. How do I get back to White Orchard? That's the question. I think first I'm going to have to find a teleportation thing. A quick travel point. We'll go over here. Oh, solid, li solid liquid. Th welcome to the stream. Um, it looks so nice, but for real, is it acceptable for 2019 standards? Um, keep in mind, solid liquid. Keep in mind that it's not the PS4. It's not a gaming PC. It's it's a two hundred dollar handheld console. So if you keep that in mind, I think it looks really good really good and I think it's definitely acceptable for 2019 if you but here's the th here's the thing if you want to play the Witcher with the best graphics with the highest frame rate then get a gaming PC or get the PS4 but if you want to be able to take it portably and you want to take it on the train if you want to play Witcher on the train in the toilet and um, when you're out and about then get it for the switch it's a no-brainer Because nobody's buying, nobody's buying, nobody's buying The Witcher Three on Switch for the graphics. They're buying it because they could take it and play anywhere they want to go. Um, Thirty FPS stable. It is. Um, yes, it's thirty frames a second stable in most areas. But if you get to a big city where it's but there's a lots of NPCs, then it can drop down to like 20 frames. But it's still playable. Um, Alright, let's see. Alright, there we go. We're traveling back to White Orchard now. Because I think the area that I'm in is catered towards higher level players, so it doesn't matter what side quests I do, it's going to be pretty hard. So we're going to go back to White Orchard, back to where all the level 3 quests are, and it should be a lot easier. Um. Daniel's Daniel's exactly right. It's it's stable. I mean, it's pretty smooth everywhere, but it can drop below thirty at times. Um, is it better than Breath of the Wild? Um, 
I don't know. That's a that's a really a really um, big question. Is The Witcher 3 better than Breath of the Wild? Well, it depends. It really depends. I've not I've not completed Breath of the Wild, so I can't really tell you. Someone else might be able to answer that. I will say, you'll definitely get your money's worth from The Witcher, though. I can guarantee that much. We meet again. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things. Um, is this handheld or docked? Blue Muscle asks. Um, this is docked. There's no way for me to capture handheld mode unless I was to hold a camera above the switch. As time passes, my losses grow. Um, Eduardo says I already have it for Xbox One, already finished, and going to buy it on Switch. You're a lot more patient than me, Eduardo. Usually, if I if I complete a game. I never, I never tend to buy it again, but then again, it is you know having it on the Switch is like a whole different beast. I mean, being able to play Witcher Three again on the Switch, it would be a ton of fun, even if you've played it already. Um, let's see. And um, Blaze, um, Daniel asks, have you built snake armor in white? Why torture? There's a hidden quest for it. No, I've I've actually not completed any side quests in White Orchard. None at all. So I'm about I'm about to do that now. And the reason why I've not completed any side quests is because I was trying to rush through the storyline to get to Novigrad. So I could do a video on Novigrad. But now I'm going to try and backtrack and go back to the start again. Um, so let's see. What's he selling? Oh, he's selling potions. In fact, no, he's not. Never mind. I thought that was a potion. Okay. In fact, can we sell stuff to him? Ah, we can sell stuff. Alright, let's sell... What can we sell? Um, a lot of this is low value stuff. There's not any point selling this. In fact, I'll sell some armor. We could sell this for... Oh, that's only going to get four coins. I'd rather hold on to this, to be honest. Rather than sell it for two. Breath of the Wild wasn't that good. I thought it was boring. Well, some people say Breath of the Wild is like one of the best games ever to, ever to come out. So it's purely personal opinion. Um, Helvet Oliver, I beat Witcher 3 on PS4 Pro, but I'm double dipping for Switch. Gonna do things completely different in the story this time. Good idea, Helvet. Well, Crystal, I've already went to Novigrad. If you go on my YouTube channel, you'll see a video where I actually went around Novigrad and looked at the performance and everything like that and see what and saw what the graphics were like. So I've got a video of me walking around Novigrad and I actually kind of rushed to get there. But now I'm going all the way back to the start and trying I'm going to I'm going to try and catch up now and level up and everything. All right, so let's see what can I sell. I might sell this because it's only it's a rusty Novigrad sword. Why not sell it? Make save space in inventory. Take care. Frozen gamer, welcome back again, man. 
welcome back. Um, if you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 1,000 sub subscribers. I'm going to be doing a lot more Switch content over the next couple of months. Leading up to Christmas. All right, we want to go to the we want to go to the notice board over here. Um, volunteers wanted by order of Captain Peter Sar Gwynlev Gwynlev um, let it hereby be known that the enlistment in the Imperial Army is now open recruits will be provided with room, board and regular pay yet the greatest payment of all is the honour of serving and blah 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 once enlisted recruits will be trained under the tutelage of the Empire ok no I'm not going to do that Oh, these are pretty rubbishy quests. I guess we'll accept one, shall we? We'll accept this one. We'll take all of them. Alright, let's go. Let's go to the quest section. Devil by the Well. Alright, let's go here. Oh, you gave back the Sony headphones. Why? Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Why? Ah, you got skull candy crushers. Ah. Twenty. Oh, you were you were not joking when you said you spent a lot of money on headphones, man. Earlier on, we drew our water from the river. You love your headphones. So many corpses floating in it. I don't blame you though. Noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadful ill. Can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink, and not beer nor cider, but water, clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away, and it don't let any man near. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening. Awful. I meant what does it look like? It looks like a woman. Oh, you have Turtle Beach Elite Atlas. Nice. What is a dirty dress? All rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls like it's suffering. Some wraith. Or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master. Very nice. If you don't take care of it, that is, it'll come kill me daughter. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. The settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now. No one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. Alright, I'm gonna steal everything in this guy's house, first of all. <laughs> oh, pardon me. That's me hiccuping. A 
I feel bad for stealing this guy's stuff, but... Oh, he's got a lot of stuff, too. Alright, let's go. Um, Diego Andres Rios Castillo asks, recommend playing it on the Nintendo Switch. I absolutely recommend playing it on on the Switch. In fact, this might be controversial, but I think the Nintendo Switch is the best place to play The Witcher 3. Purely because you can take it anywhere. Um, they have haptic feedback in each ear cup. Nice. Um, Frozen Gamer, you bought Overwatch from Shop2 for £23. Nice. God, listen, I love the sound effects in this. Alright, you know what, let's rest up for a little bit, let's do some meditation here. Rest up till about 11am. I wish the weather would change because it looks, it looks like it's night time when it's not. The infamous well. Strange, no sign of a ghost. Maybe it only shows at a certain time Body of dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. Grass around the well scorched. All signs point to a new wraith. Oh no, don't tell me I've got stuck. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's examine this. Bodies dragged to a crisp. Signs of burns. Noon Wraith did this. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff to loot in here. A lot of stuff. Journal might be useful. Okay, let's go. I think there's nothing left to do here but go down into the well. 
Let's do it. Not to come up empty-handed. A bracelet. Yeah, Frozen so Gamer. I hope the I hope the show is good too. Is it coming to Netflix? Bracelet was on an arm bone. Was it Netflix or was it Amazon Prime Video? I can't remember. Oh, here we go. We're about to fight the witch. Ah, uh, Netflix, cool. When's it coming out? Hopefully soon. Find the spirit that haunts the well. Right, am I missing something here? Alright, read the 
bit in the bestiary about the about the wraith. Okay. The residents of White Orchard had suffered more than their fair share of misfortunes. Passing armies had trampled their spring planting. A griffin had begun abducting their livestock in the rotten egg, blah, blah, blah. So we need to figure out our secret. What does that mean? to find an object. I'm kind of struggling now. Ah, it wants me to go above. Damn, okay. So we've got to go back back up top again. But first we need to get out of here. Go back to the top of the wall. Yeah James, I'm about to do that right now. It's just clicked. Just clicked. All right, let's go. Let's go find the the objects. Um. It's annoying because I went. I went into each of the houses beforehand. stains over there but it's not his blood blood stains barely visible someone was dragged this way someone who was still alive palm prints in blood I think I did James I think I did woman's 
Someone dragged her out. She was wounded. Fought for her life. No body in sight, but might still find some tracks. Under the right conditions, bloodstains can remain visible for decades. Another print by the well. Alright, there's nothing in the house here. Unless it is, is it? No. Ah, over here. Alright, so we've got the white myrtle petals. Noon Wraith won't stray too far from the well. Going here. Yeah, it has to be something over there. Come on. Alright, we've got everything. Now I think we just have to go back into the well. Oh no, don't tell me I've got to go back up back up the well again and grab the body from above. I can't shoot the body down, can I? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. God, to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I've got to go I've got to go all the way down and around and get the body from the well again. From the top of the well. I can't believe this. Ah uh, Alright, I think this will be the last quest that I do tonight, I think. I'm, I'm getting pretty tired now. Uh. <laughs> I, was stuck, I was stuck in that cave for like an hour. Earlier and now I've been I've been down into that well like five times. I know, I know. I I was stupid, wasn't I? All right, there. Blood stains, almost faded. It's my own. It's my own stupidity that's that's got me frustrated. Not right. All right, here we go. A corpse hanged by the bucket rope. I'm, gl I'm glad you're here, though, James. If you weren't, if you were not here, I'd probably, I probably would have jumped down to the, jumped down that well another five times, Wide only to realize, <laughs> only to realize I'd have to come back up again. So you've probably saved me like half an hour. 
Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do that. Yeah, be this quest is a pain, but yeah, it takes thinking, yeah, it does. Husband. Might be why your arm fell off. I'm just sick of jumping down into the well and then spending five minutes to try and get out of it. Let's take another look. Lovely craftsmanship, but I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the noon wraith for good. Better do it near the well. Oh, please don't tell me it wants me to go back down the well again. Bruce some wraith oil. Drink some potions. I swear if it asks me to go back down, I'll be peeved off. Really peeved off. And the bracelet. Igni. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's one ugly woman. Hey, I think it worked. All right. Let's see. What what do I want to do? Do I want to use magic trap? Magic trap. Oh, this is easy. Really easy. Damn. In fact, no, I spoke too soon, never mind. <laughs> In fact, no, it was easy. All right, let's return to Odlin for a, a reward. Wow. Well, that was a ton. That was a that was a lot easier than that cave I was in. A lot easier. I'm actually glad I've went back now. Hopefully, I can level up quite a lot before I go back to that back back to that cave. Hmm. <clears throat> Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every other buried wretch don't start haunting us. Well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, names ring a bell? I don't know him. But I did hear old Herper listen to Mira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, let's hope for it, at least. How about that? Never expected to get a dowry. Nor did I suppose I'd ever give one to a witcher. Strange times these, wouldn't you say? Strange and sad. Hmm. All right, there we go. All right, what level am I? I'm still level three. Uh. All right, so there we go. That wraps up our third stream on The Witcher. Thanks everyone for following me. I know it was a pretty boring stream, this one. I got stuck in a few places for way too long and died too, way too many times, but it was still fun. Um, so thanks for everyone that tuned in thank you James for helping me multiple times and it's been a pleasure playing this again and um, I'd go back in level five to six yeah I plan on it I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a lot of time grinding even even going around and just killing killing nearby monsters and killing wild dogs and stuff I'm just gonna grind grind up until I'm level five or six and then I'll go forward but yeah thanks everyone for tuning in Um thanks for the questions thanks for helping hopefully i've influenced 
your decision to get The Witcher 3. Um, it comes out this Tuesday. Hope everyone gets it. And again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and also check out my other Witcher 3 videos. I've got a few others on the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.